on, you know, what have you seen in these past couple of practices since they've been able to have a little bit more contact? Well, we really haven't changed the style of practice. The contact's really been down to a minimum. Our numbers are down so low that we're trying to keep everybody as healthy for as long as we can during spring ball. But uh, we did let them go a little bit today, and everybody came out okay. So we'll hit a little bit more on Thursday, but we, we kind of saved most of our hitting for the scrimmages, which will be Saturday. So I said, are you sure on, on the water? Is there any significance to that? It was written in marker. I know you guys are big on waters and bending machine changes. Just means whatever you do in life, you just gotta make sure, are you sure you want the result? Because that means you have to put some price in. That's all. Is there a price for water here? No. <laughs> no, it's kind of a saying. It doesn't have yeah. to do with the water. Yeah, I know. The water's free. <laughs> <laughs> How'd the guys take to uh, the vending machine changes? I know a couple of them talked about no more soda, no more juices. It's pretty much a big focus on water. Oh, no, I didn't even ask them. I just, there's certain things that you got to do, and, and uh, you, know, you just you don't drink soda. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to be doing the things that we're doing, you just, you know, you just don't drink soda. You can drink water, you can drink juices, you can drink Gatorade, you can drink Powerade. So just kind of defeat what we're trying to get done. How about a nutritionist? That's something this place doesn't have, and it's a uh, element a lot of programs have, have turned to to kind of keep up with. I I, I, th I think nutritionists are good. I mean, hopefully someday we can get to that. Uh, I think that when you have somebody that has degrees in that stuff about eating and getting guys bigger and getting guys smaller, I think that uh, there's definitely room for that sometime in the future. There were a fair amount of shoulder injuries that needed to be taken care of in the off season. Was there anything that you thought went into that past training or things of that nature? No, we're not going to. I'm not going to talk about anything like that. All that stuff. When I came, they had bad shoulders. Uh, they had a lot of shoulder injuries. It could be a happening, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just try to make sure we build up that part of the muscle as well as we can, and hopefully it won't happen again. Can you have a couple guys listed as like running back slash wide receivers? Um, are you having them learn both positions, um, or is there kind of chunks of plays? Um, we know we're, we're kind of trying to lock them into one position, and then we'll see Saturday when we start seeing what the guys do live, whether they really are running back or whether they're really receiver. And how much are you going to be incorporating the running backs into the pass game? Are they more just you know staying in the backfield and blocking, or are you going to let them come out? No, we let them catch passes. A guy like Irv. Phillips, who, who, you know, I guess is working at, in the slot. Um, he struggled uh, maybe catching downfield balls last year, turning and locating. Um, how much is kind of catching downfield passes part of that slot position for you? A lot. He needs to be able to do that. Time for a couple more questions. Uh, Zach 